Hello everyone, welcome again. Uh, this is a quick informational view of, of um, incoming 6.7 update, which is in the test phase at the moment, and it's going to be introduced probably somewhere in the middle of uh, January, since we finished uh, the New Year's Christmas and New Year's um, event. And there's quite a lot of important things coming up. It's not like um, like the last time when we got lots of cosmetics and um, new camos and stuff like that. This time we have quite lots of uh, signif significant changes. So if we look on the situation here, the two, the most important, of course, we have uh, introduced a new uh, American light tanks on tier 9 and 10. This is a tier 9 T92 E1 and tier 10 Sheridan. T92 E1 is the line is coming from T49, the American light tank. Of course, you probably already know that because that was that was well known since since a while. And those two vehicles they're using that um, uh, ATGM with uh, techno technique with uh, guided missiles, which we're gonna explain slightly later. <coughs> now, let's take a look on the models. As you can see. The tier 9 vehicle has um, has no armor, has a very weak armor, but with good angles. So the turret is slightly, slightly, slightly stronger. But as you can see, there's 140, 110 millimeter of, of uh, armor. This is 75, so that's gonna be quite easy to penetrate. Same on the frontal armor, 149, 150 on tier 9 is really nothing impressive. And here, 52, 50, 70 millimeter on the back, 41. 21 on the turret, so gonna be really easy to penetrate on uh, high explosive shells. Easy, easy to to kill. Um, and this one, we're gonna need 170,000 of experience to get from T49 to T92 E1. Tier 10, the model is is a bit different, and here you can see there's a lot of uh, spaced armor on that one, so it's gonna be a bit tricky, as you can see. And this is only 6 millimeter and 43 millimeter, but between them there is a space of 999 plus millimeter, which means that's going to be really difficult to penetrate. And at the need of that, we have 30, 50, and here 78 millimeter. Of there's a double space armor here, as you can see. And between the first and second, there's 999 plus, and between uh, the second and third, 800 millimeter. So that's going to be really, really tricky to penetrate. Same in front. We got 12 millimeter here and space armor 197 millimeter difference between and 41 millimeter of uh, regular armor with uh, with a slope of 52 degrees so turret as you can see turret is still still regular armor so it's gonna be easier to penetrate it's 60 40 to 63 millimeters but here if if you manage to hit hit um, the hole might be really tricky and same on the back <coughs> So only the lower part here, that's really weak, it's 20 millimeters, still 20 millimeter, like in the previous one, but here all this part, it has 16 millimeter of, uh, of a spaced armor, and then 500, 800, 400 millimeter space between them. So that's going to be really, really bad. <laughs> right, here you can see all the information. As an amount of HP, 1600 on tier 9 and 1800 on tier 10. View range 260 meters <coughs> on both. And um, penetration 240, 340, and 90 millimeter, same on both. Damage 560. Reload time 18 millimeter, 18 seconds 22 on tier 9, and then 15.34 on tier 10 and gun depression 10 degrees on both of uh, tanks so uh, later we're going to talk about about that new ATGM mechanics and changes since uh, the last tests we have and now let's get forward with uh, with updates so the f another thing is grill 15 and the, the concealment of the grill, grill 15 after the shot is um, <coughs> increased from 145 to 186 and uh, when moving from 0 0.87 to 1.12 every 250b uh, the amount of HP is reduced by 100 which is ab absolutely not significant for this vehicle as you can see uh, 100 
21B, uh, the Chinese tier 10, it has uh, rate of fire increased a little bit from 834 to 869, reload time from 790 to 790. Is, is, is increased quite a lot and DPM on a regular shares 2,920 from 2 goes to 3,042 on a premium shell 2,500 to 2,600 and on HP on HE sorry from 3,338 to 3,477 and another inqu interesting change on on Fosh 155 uh, the nerf that it is called the nerf, but actually it's not a really really big nerf because um, the alpha damage is reduced from 640 to 560 on regular shells. On um, uh, on high explosives from 960 to 680, which means there will be no more shots for a thousand of HP at once. So this one is significantly reduced and uh, rate of fire is increased from 493 to 5.60 and mag uh, magazine reload time is reduced as well from 17.26 seconds to 14.38 which means the dpm goes from 2690 to 3050 so that change is re not really uh, not really very really bad for for this for this uh, for this vehicle probably still quite good and um, and uh, interesting to play. Another two tanks, they are huge, the huge uh, nerves that we expect since, like I, like I said, few few times ago on my live streams. So I'm just waiting for Wargaming to to drop that nerf on uh, Italian tanks because that was more than obvious that it's going that's going to happen. So that's on tier nine standard B, <coughs> did this this nerf is is a weaker because this one only change. Uh, the dispersion of uh, of a gun from 0 0.336 to 0 0.345 and uh, when rotating turret from 0 0.08 to 0 100 so this this nerf is not that bad but the serious problem comes when projecto 65 this is this is really bad because the base aim time it goes from 1.63 to 1.82 which is not that bad dispersion from 0 0.326 to 0 0.345 which is quite a good because uh, the Italian gun was never was so too too accurate, and though those um, those numbers are mo changing also when when moving and rotating that um, or moving the turret, as you can see, and the biggest the biggest problem comes here: engine power from 670 to 632, and then. On hard terrain from 21.17 to 1997, from 1881 to 1775 on medium terrain, and on soft terrain from 941 to 808.87, and traverse speed from 52.15 degrees to 50.06 on hard terrain, on medium terrain 46 to 44, and on soft terrain from 23 to 22.25, which means the tank gonna be way much, much slower. And uh, according to the to the testers, there uh, is a significant change, so you can feel it. You can feel it when you drive that tank. All right, what's next? There's a couple of interesting changes on the on the armors. If, as you can see, let's say let's start with T29 on tier seven. The old armor, frontal armor, is here 102 millimeters, which gives you 146 uh, real armor with 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 the with the angled uh, frontal plate so it's 102 and after the, after change gonna be 120 so it's quite a lot but of course the lower plate is still the same still 70 millimeters in both in both versions as you can see 70 millimeters here so everyone gonna shoot here for sure and those weak spots here they also were more, uh, better armored as you can see here you got 120 and 120 millimeters here so all this upper part is more uh, is better armored so if you use that tank as a hold down technique it's gonna be even more difficult to pen to to uh, to fight against another thing is x22 medium as you can see 
it's just a slight slight change of a model but not much difference is the Russian is on tier 7 as you can see that that line on the on the driver's hatch and uh, that that, uh, that top of uh, top of uh, I mean bottom of a lower uh, lower plate frontal plate is slightly slightly increased from let me see from 120 meters mid 220 millimeters in here and here it goes now to hmm well something messed up well 152 millimeters so that's gonna be what that's gonna be increased of course the lower plate stays the same and as you see the cupola the, the, the commander's hatch is slightly smaller in the new version maybe maybe a bit more difficult to penetrate another imp important thing on kv2 oh kv3 i'm sorry same same situation that frontal frontal part here and here is increased probably the same amount as is a russian tank from 120 oh we can see here from 120 to 165 even more so this that's gonna be but here 100 millimeters here and the uh, same as in the previous version is2 the frontal plate is not changing but the only only difference is on the on the gun mount let's see if you see here okay 100 millimeters goes to 107 140 so it depends on the angle here so sometimes you can penetrate this part so from 100 millimeters now it goes to 140 millimeters which means on tier 7 that's maybe may you know the uh, lower i mean uh, the medium tanks and lighters may have a bigger problem to to penetrate that part panther as you can see is a significant change on the frontal part of the armor turret uh, turret armor and uh, the frontal upper front frontal uh, plate it goes from 120 and 85 millimeters to now 160 and 110 the lower plate stays stays on 85 millimeters so again according to you know if you, you know that uh, panther has a nice gun depression so if you use the cool down technique they're going to be even more difficult a part of those parts but the those you know if if uh, the turret is is uh, well angled it gives you 233 millimeters of um, active air more so it's not that easy to penetrate so you may use the cool down even more effective than before tiger that's important that change because the people complain that tiger is too weak in the game even despite the last last uh, updates when um, it gets slightly slightly upgrade updated now it's even better because as you can see all the frontal armor a part of this part where it's 62 millimeters but if it stays like that it's kind of difficult to penetrate in the hold down technique is even better from 100 on both sides it goes up to 165 and 145 here and here we get 100 millimeter which is not a big change because 100 millimeters is still still amount of um, of armor that could be easily penetrated by those tanks and especially when the tiger is facing tier 7 and 8 vehicles which uh, penetration sometimes is more than 7 170 180 e75 here is a slight slight change here on the gun mantlet and uh, those, those, those viewers here on the side of the armor. Yak Panther has the same same change. Most of the tanks they had the, having a change on the frontal armor look. Here from 80 millimeters and 65 on the lower plate. It goes now to 120 and 80. And here 165, so no more, no more that spot over there. Uh, Black Prince. Uh, doesn't make much changes even it, it gets even stronger that that frontal plate is gets even stronger than before so it's going to be probably much more difficult to penetrate even now <coughs> and uh, british tank destroyers 88 and 87 the same situation look the frontal armor from here i got 76 millimeter here and 60 millimeter here 
and 203 which which was already there we're changing now up to up to this there's no weak spot anymore 180 meter 80 millimeters millimeter comes up 203 and this part is, is stronger as well 180 millimeters with a nice angle with 491 which is almost impossible to penetrate and 227 on the on that front bar the commander's hatch is 120 millimeters which was pretty much the same probably in uh, yeah now even more it used to be 100 so that's gonna be even more more difficult to penetrate 88 87 let's see we got 101 on hatch 103 and then 76 millimeter here as you can see that armor is not changing much it's only only the commander's hatch once again from 101 230 which means you know as you can see that all of them they are they are slightly angled all of which gives you a slightly slightly different amount of of, um, of armor and uh, if you try to aim here it's also quite difficult to even even now it's quite difficult to penetrate and that's it oh is2 one more Russian tank this one has a frontal plate plate change as well from 90 millimeters and 100 on the lower plate it goes to 120 and 100 on the lower plate and that's it all right let's go to the uh the american light tanks now to the to, to that technique those vehicles will have two attack modes um, on the APCR and high explosive shells, they're gonna have a regular. They're gonna use the same same as a regular um, ammo. And on heat uh, heat shells, they're gonna use uh, ATGM guided missiles, which we remember from uh, the old test with T49A back in time. But uh, that is uh, significant, significantly reworked since since those tests. And now we have a different aim indicator divided by two parts the upper parts show the reload time for the for the gun and the lower parts the lower half is shows the range of uh, flight for the vision for for that uh, for the missile and since we launch the rocket and it's still in the air there is no reload that's important reload starts when only when the when we hit the target or the rocket explodes somewhere somewhere else there is a difference between uh, between tested back in time ATGM mechanics and uh, old ones used the uh, auto aim where we where we could set uh, auto targeting on the target and just shoot shoot the shoot the uh, the shell the rocket and something like like uh, fire and forget. Now the rocket is following always following the aim indicator, which means uh, even if you select the target by auto aim and you move the you move the aim indicator, then the missile gonna gonna follow your aim indicator is not not using um, the auto aim at all so we have to use manual aim and uh, that new mechanics might be a substitution for something like like a big world of tanks artillery so maybe maybe used to 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 shoot to the to the long the long range campers or such, something like that so the old people who who, who claim that they want to get the artillery back in uh, in world of tanks bits from the same like like in world of tanks they may use that sounds similar similar to uh, to the artillery in the big world of tanks so we can launch the rocket still we can launch the high in the air and then guide it uh, into the camper enemy tank uh, hinder somewhere in, in the distance behind the house or a hill or any any other obstacles just need a little bit of practice aiming skill and the luck because of course we need a um, the target not not to move to that to, to be still uh for for the time of of uh, the rocket the rocket is traveling and of course this artillery mode artillery mode requires much more attention because you have to focus on the, the guiding the rocket until until it, you reach reach the target and also you have to focus on the situation on the battlefield around you so not to not to be exposed and not to be surprised with the pants down, you know, since since you are focused on the firing, firing the rockets, and not not uh, not aware of uh, incoming light or mediums, just just like riding your your ass and then uh, killing easily. So that's it. 
and it might be tricky if enemy is too close to uh, to, to us because um, of course because of, of uh, that that uh, guiding uh, uh, te um, technique and it could be tricky also in um, in a close uh, ur urban co uh, combat in the cities because of course because of the obstacles and the high buildings that makes a problem and um, uh, real um, natural obstacles for uh, for the flying uh, rockets and that mechanics can be deadly but needs some skills and experience for sure okay that's pretty much the, that's it for for that uh, incoming um, incoming uh, update um, gonna gonna keep the keep the information up to date according to the news from uh, from the test and uh, we'll see what's gonna happen if it uh, during that first first part of uh, month when the people start start playing those things how how the situation on the higher is gonna change if it's gonna be like um, from one side it might be good because you know there, there will be no much not much camping but from the other side the people who play uh, tank destroyers they may have a problem because they, they're using they're using the uh, like you know they're like hidden spots somewhere and since they got spotted might be easily attacked by even behind the obstacles might be easily attacked by uh, the, the players that uh, they're using that uh, the guided rocket techniques with some skills right that's it for today thank you everyone for watching and if you want to be up to date with uh, all information and situation on um, on the channel just subscribe and if you have any anything to say you want to you want to uh, discuss of course you can you can leave the comment below the material meanwhile thank you everyone and see you next time take care